Static Discharge Damage Are you ready? Customer demands for wireless and high-speed miniaturized products with ever smaller device design geometries are driving development of new electronic components that are extremely sensitive to static discharge damage. The high-frequency, high-speed performance design demands of these products has led to a new generation of components that are much more sensitive to static discharge than components we've had to deal with in the past. Increasingly, we are seeing components enter the market with withstand voltages well below 100 volts, some even in the single-digit range, and this trend is expected to continue. Compounding the component sensitivity situation is the nature of modern high-speed automated electronics manufacturing facilities that make prevention of static buildup and discharge increasingly complex. This has created concern for many manufacturers that are, or soon will be, required to deal with this new generation of Class Zero ESD sensitive components. Experience has shown that introducing ultra sensitive components into the electronics manufacturing process can result in catastrophic yield loss unless appropriate advanced ESD prevention methods are used. ESD damage costs the electronics industry many billions of dollars each year in damaged and degraded parts that cause failures both in the factory and in the field. For today's manufacturers, investment in sound ESD control measures is a real opportunity for improved profit. Manufacturers use documented ESD control programs that specify measures to be taken within company facilities to prevent static discharge damage. While each of these ESD control programs follows industry standards, control plans may be tailored to meet individual company requirements. ANSI ESD S2020, published by the ESD Association, provides guidance on ESD control programs, including administrative and technical requirements. In simple terms, ESD damage can occur in two ways. If a person, tool, or piece of equipment becomes charged, then touches an uncharged electronic part, a static discharge will occur. Or if an electronic part becomes charged, then touches an uncharged person, tool, or piece of equipment, again a static discharge occurs. In either case, the discharge can cause damage to an ESD sensitive part. Keep in mind that you might not feel, hear, or see this damaging static discharge. Where do you need static protection? Anywhere ESD sensitive parts are handled. This can include receiving, incoming inspection, inventory and kitting areas, the production floor including automated and manual circuit card assembly, testing, packaging and shipping, and rework areas. It can also include engineering labs, component distribution centers, and repair centers. Prevention of ESD events involves well understood methods. One of the most important of these is to bond all conductive objects to a common ground. Work surfaces, floors, seating, shelving, transport carts, machines, and people must all be grounded. Grounding of personnel who might come in contact with static sensitive components is accomplished using wrist straps and foot grounders that allow charges on people to safely drain to ground. Performance of personal grounding wrist straps and footwear must be tested on a regular basis. This ACL statuside test station checks and verifies the electrical resistance of the wrist strap and both left and right heel grounders. Test results and actual resistance data are logged and stored on computer and can be used for ISO audit and ESD program analysis. Wrist straps need to make good contact with the wearer's skin and should fit snugly. Dry skin can have a higher resistance that might cause the wrist strap to fail. ESD Handbook TR2020 states, Dry skin conditions can be resolved by applying moisturizing lotion on the wrist and repeating the resistance test again. The moisturizing lotion should be one that is compatible with process requirements. Wrist straps work by providing a controlled path to ground for charges that are continually generated on personnel as a result of workplace movements. Wrist straps connect to a common point ground. In many cases, an ESD protective garment is used to shield components from static charges that might build up on clothing, in particular synthetic fabrics. ESD garments should be made of dissipative material with a resistance less than 1 times 10 to the 11th ohms. 
it is essential for ESD audit compliance to carry out engineering qualification and to regularly monitor ESD garments. Because garment performance might degrade due to laundering and normal wear, periodic resistance testing is required. Grounded dissipative work surfaces, such as the ACL dual mat, can reduce the damaging effects of static discharge by providing a current limiting resistive path for charges to flow to ground. These mats should be connected to a common point ground and have a measured resistance to ground of less than 1 times 10 to the 9th ohms. Dissipative surfaces should be cleaned regularly with a static safe cleaner. Accumulated dirt, flux residue and other contaminants affect surface resistance and can degrade dissipative properties. Periodic ESD audits should include evaluation of dissipative work surfaces. ESD sensitive parts must be enclosed in ESD protective packaging unless they are in an ESD protective area or EPA. An EPA may consist of a single workstation, a room or an entire building and includes grounding and dissipative precautions and sometimes ionizers that help to neutralize charges on insulators and on the insulative parts of products. Insulators, like this coffee mug, tend to build up static electricity and cannot be effectively grounded to remove static charge. The static electric field around these insulators can cause sensitive devices to become charged through induction. For this reason, ESDA S2020 requires that all non-essential insulators, such as coffee cups, food wrappers and personal items, be removed from the workstation. In addition, S2020 recommends that process essential insulators be separated from sensitive parts by at least 30 centimeters or 12 inches. Static charges often build up on the insulative parts of equipment cases, moving parts of machines, storage bins, work surfaces, seating surfaces, flooring and rugs, and synthetic fabrics. Any insulator in the workplace could be carrying a dangerous static charge. Part of the required ESD audit is to look for and identify insulators that are or could become charged. A static locator or field meter can detect charges on insulators and is used by the auditor to identify potential ESD threats. Topical antistats, such as ACL staticide, can be an effective method for static control on process essential insulators. Staticide can be easily applied to electronic equipment cases, walls, ceilings, floors, carpets, fixtures, work surfaces, tools and equipment, conveyor belts, clothing and other materials. ACL staticide is available as a concentrate and in convenient ready-to-use dilutions. General purpose staticide is ideal for use on hard surfaces such as equipment cases and plastic laminate work surfaces. Heavy duty staticide is great for corrugated packaging materials, cloth chairs and fabrics. Staticide is also available in individual wipes. These are handy for one step cleaning and static control for electronic equipment such as a CRT housing or keyboard. ESD footwear or foot straps work in combination with an ESD flooring system to provide a path to ground. Initial engineering qualification and regular auditing of the ESD flooring system performance should be included in each company's ESD control program. ACL Staticide specializes in hard-wearing ESD protective floor finish systems that include high-performance dissipative finishes for vinyl, linoleum and ceramic tile floors. Regular maintenance using ACL restorers, cleaners and strippers ensures that your floors maintain safe ESD specifications. ACL Staticide Diamond is a tough static dissipative polyurethane coating for concrete and other unfinished floor materials. The S2020 standard calls for initial and recurrent ESD training for all personnel who might come into contact with ESD sensitive items. ACL Staticide offers comprehensive LearnTech ESD training courses. Click on two objects that repel one another. Right. Click on the components to see the force needed to damage them. 10 volts could cause this high-density integrated circuit component to fail. 
Although we usually cannot feel or see this small discharge, we can often detect the resulting component damage. Click on the spot where ESD has damaged this component. Right. You can see where the component layer was punctured. If you are using a static dissipative mat, snap the wrist strap to the mat's ground terminal. Correct. In combination with a grounded floor or mat, static dissipative shoes or foot straps provide a controlled path for charges to flow to ground. Be static wise. Follow your company schedule to test and reapply anti-stats for continuous protection against ESD damage. Everyone who goes into an ESD protected area must know and follow the rules. LearnTech ESD training courses are available in video and computer delivery formats that fully meet the training requirements of ANSI ESD S2020. Are you ready? With ACL Staticide, when it comes to static protection, we have you covered. For more information on our products, please visit our website or give us a call.